Yes! 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 This is my corkscrew progression. I first started attempting this trick in late March of 2016. This was before I could consistently backflip, bump flip, or side flip. My original goal was to get this trick within the first week or two, but that was never going to happen considering I could never even make it to my knees. After three or four days, I had to stop doing corks because of ankle injuries. One of them was caused by this. After a few months off of corks, I was ready to start practicing them again. However, since I didn't do a cork for four months, I had to restart the learning process. This time I could land a backflip, frontflip, and sideflip consistently, so it made the fear of this trick a lot less. Looking back, I wasn't quite ready to start attempting this trick yet, but it didn't stop me from trying. My setup for attempting this trick was also a lot better with a mattress and a foam pad. Doing a cork on top of the mattress was a good idea because it gave me height and a softer landing. However, doing them off the ground into the mattress was a bad idea. This is because it forced me to go sideways instead of up, and it also prevented me from kicking much because I would kick the mattress if I actually kicked. By the end of the second day, I was actually able to do it just in grass. Unfortunately, my cork training came to a sudden end when I hurt my ankle severely at an open gym. Because of my ankle injury, I didn't really do any more corks until October 2016. Even though I didn't do any corks in that time that I took off, my corks improved a little bit. I also decided to take a different approach this time. Instead of going into the mattress, I decided to go off of the mattress. The reason for this initially was because I wasn't traveling sideways anymore, but eventually it became that I didn't want to kick the mattress. I made it my goal to practice corks every other day, and I stuck to it for the most part unless it rained or something. Over the course of a couple weeks, my cork started to improve very slowly, mostly with consistency. One time, I had a really good random cork that I almost landed. This caused me to think that traveling sideways was a good thing, so slowly over time I started to travel sideways more. Like I already said, traveling sideways limits the amount of height you can get in the corkscrew. If I would have realized that back then, it would have been great. To make it even worse, I started to attempt corks into the mattress again. One of the largest flaws in my technique at this time was that I wasn't kicking enough. By fixing those two things, I probably would have landed the cork very quickly. One day, after getting tired of my corks not really improving, I decided it would be a good idea to slowly stop using the pads. The thinking behind this is it would get rid of my bad habit of traveling sideways, and I also hoped that it would allow me to get more height with a more natural J-step. I still traveled sideways a lot, and I really didn't know how to fix this. Without seeing improvement for the rest of the day, I decided I would take a break until I was better at other flips in hopes that I would be able to get a cork more easily. This last March, I got the chance to go to Woodward. Just about all of my flips were a lot more powerful at this point. About five months after I attempted my last cork, I was ready to start trying them again. Because of the extra height that the gym floor gave me, I was able to get very close to landing a few. Due to the fact that I only had a limited time at Woodward, I was very tired after every attempt. After trying corks again at Woodward, I decided to start trying them again in grass. The result wasn't as good as I had hoped, but at least it was better than five months ago. In May, I learned that learning a one-foot gainer didn't really help too much. Shortly after that, I was given access to an air track because a new trampoline park opened near me. I started landing corks on it only after a few attempts. On that same day, I injured my back and I was out for about three weeks. When I was able to do stuff again, I decided to try some corks. They weren't really better than before the air track, but at least they weren't as bad as that one attempt in May. Back on the air track, I could still land corks fairly consistently. After only a few days of being healthy, I re-injured my back. This put me out for another two weeks. On July 7th, 2017, I made a goal to land the corkscrew by the end of the summer. In order to reach that goal, I decided that day to start training one foot untucked gainers. I was really focusing on kicking and to my surprise, I actually started to improve a lot. Because of my improved kicking, I started to feel a lot more power than before. This actually resulted in me landing a few. 
This continued for a while until I decided to end the session with a corkscrew attempt. The power I felt in this cork was unbelievable, so I decided to try it again. To my surprise, I almost landed it. This continued for a few more attempts until it finally happened. I failed over a thousand times before I finally landed it. Now all that's left is to get it consistent. This shouldn't be hard since I can land it on grass without getting hurt. Anyway, it feels right to end this progression here, mostly because I don't want to make it any longer. Thanks for watching.